I'm ready to go out here and pull these crab pots. Look at them. Look at this. Oh, look at here. Oh. Look at here. Look at here, guys. Wow, <laughs> loaded pot. Oh, loaded. my goodness. Talk about eating good in the neighborhood. I don't think you're going to eat much better than this empty. From what I see, we may darn not have a cooler big enough for this trip. I'm getting the whiff of these pots and I can definitely understand why the crab were attracted to it because crab likes stinky stuff. Did I just see a full pot? Whoop. Jesus! Yeah, Guys, I think it's the spade fish. So to show you the bait that we're using in the crab pots, you can see the big spade fish. There's one in that pot. There's a big spade down in the bottom of this one. And there's a big spade carcass in this one and then in here is a spot tail bass carcass a black drum carcass and another black drum car carcass those are in the bait compartments and in this bait compartment are little fish and things we called as bycatch while we were shrimp trawling today so this is why you see that we're so dirty Lord. you can see how shrimp dirty we ain't are easy it ain't clean the crabbing ain't easy it's not clean it's all dirty work out here on the water from what i can tell guys but we certainly enjoy it and so while we were dirty we figured we'd go ahead and get these pots ready oliver has worked on some of them as you've seen in some of our last videos we had a couple that needed some work so oliver has put his trusty tie straps on some of them made sure our um, rebar weights are going to stay on to the bottom of these pots because we have a very high tide swing here in South Carolina and we have to make sure the pots are weighted down so they don't float up and down the river with the tide because those big tides will um, definitely move those pots around. That's right. Go to the left right there. That one's got a long rope on it. And right here's a deep hole in this little channel right here, guys. We're going to set it out. And look at this beautiful sunset here. Salty reflections out here are gorgeous today. That's right. Wow, this rope is long. 50 foot. 50 foot. You let me know when you're ready. Well, I'm ready when right you here. are. All right. Come back up with some crabs in you. And we are using the yellow crab pot boys on our crab pots because here in South Carolina, that is what we need to use. And if you're ever out crabbing, make sure your name and your address is on those crab pot buoys also. It doesn't look like any commercial guys are through this area. I know we only come about 50 yards right here, but we're going to put another one right here on this left side right here longer rope or the short one the one right there to your left will be fine because we want to go off that left side match that corner in right there on your right a little bit of stuff no. nope right there and we always want to swing out to the uh outside of the curb when we put night crab pots out because usually that's where the deeper part of the channel is and we don't want our crab pots to be exposed on the lower tide right Right there, Steph, you're good. Yeah, we don't want the crab pot exposed because with this heat in the summer right now, the crab will die if they're out of the pot. That's right. They're out of the water. I think I just said out of the pot, but you guys know what I mean. It's been a long day, so we do say things backwards. We hope you guys appreciate us taking you on our real adventures. These are not scripted, as you can see, when we say things wrong or backwards. So, there you go. I think that is real, guys. That's as real as it gets, right? Dirty or not dirty, I really don't care. I mean, as long as you guys want to watch our videos, I'm happy to bring you guys along. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 14,000 subscribers now, so, you know, some of the videos that we're making, people definitely want to see, right, Steph? And we couldn't be more proud of it. That's right. Country boy and country girl from right here in South Carolina. 
trying to share videos with the world. Yes, and sir. that's what we're doing. This is a nice long straightaway right here. We're going to drop one right here. Right in front of this little creek coming out. Right here out of the marsh. Right there, Seth. You got it. That's number three. We're going to put number four in one of my favorite spots. It's way back here in this marsh creek on this curve back in here. And it always does pretty good. I think it's because it's the first pot the crabs come to when the, the tide is going out and you know the blue crabs usually move with the tide so when it's coming back out of the marsh i think they get to this trap first or this area where we're going to set the trap first excuse me here we go that's talking backwards but you guys know what we mean if not follow along enough and you'll figure it out be plenty enough rope. Alright, this is that one we tied before when, that, when the rebar was coming off, so I wanted to make sure. Yeah, that'll be fine. It, it's not very deep back here. And right now, we're, you know, having, we're in the high, half moon stage. So, our tides are not fluctuating that much. We're only going up down in the tidal fluctuation about six to seven foot, maybe right now. It's kind of our average versus eight and nine really high tide. Right there on the left. Well, there we go. All right, we're crabbing. We are crabbing, guys. We're going to let these uh, crab pots soak overnight. Hopefully get back to them tomorrow. If not, we'll come back maybe the next day. Give them 48 hours. Um, you know, here in South Carolina, I believe we can leave our crab pots out up to four days. Four days, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. So guys, we'll be right back with you guys. And we might even be cleaned up the next time we come back out here with you. What you think, Steph? Maybe, it just depends on what we're doing before we get to make it out here. <laughs> Yeah, we have a tendency to stay pretty dirty. We, we're very active, we're outdoors people, and we kind of live, you know, where everything's like a cycle to us, guys. You see the way that we live is basically, we like to reuse and repurpose a lot of things, and that is the whole purpose and the bait that we use in our crab pots for crabbing. That's just the way that we choose to be. I know the chicken, uh, works good it's definitely a good crab bait but fish works good also and that is what we have so that's what we're using just because are we cheap we are cheap frugal we're, we're definitely frugal especially compared to some people these days i mean jesus i see people out here wearing 200 dollars sneakers and driving hundred and twenty thousand dollar pickups now you guys got it going on i don't know where you're getting all that money from but hey maybe you need to you know leave us a little comment let us in on what you're doing for all that money <laughs> anyhow guys just thought it'd be nice to come along with you guys share a little bit of the marsh ride with you set these pots We'll be right back on with you guys to pull these pots. We're going to get them. I'm ready to go out here and pull these crab pots that we have set out in the Marsh Creek. <laughs> Got to get a couple of things before we go, guys. A couple little things that I use. My trusty gauge that measures five inches inside diameter right here. And my tongs to handle these crabs with. this bucket right here and also a core to put our crabs in we 
We're set. And we're ready to go crabbing. This is what we're looking for right here, guys. When we put pulling these crabs up, you can see this indication from the DNR here in South Carolina. And it's measuring five inches. It's showing you from this point to this point. Steph hadn't even come out the house yet. Yeah, there she comes. She's coming. Now one of my good buddies calling me. Let me get this call. <laughs> oh gosh. Do any of you guys friends just call you just to talk to you? I got a few. That's what we do constantly. If, uh, if one of them like turns over in the bed and is calling saying, hey, why did you turn over? I just turned over in the bed. Right, Steph? <laughs> yes, you know who you are. <laughs> Shoot. Don't fool yourself. You know those guys ain't watching. They want to claim they're not watching. <laughs> but we know the truth, right, Steph? Their family's selling. Yeah, that's right. Here, let's get on through this marsh creek and get on out here and pull these blue crabs with you guys. I'm eager to pull them. I'm eager to sink. If them blue crabs like to taste the spade fish, how about you guys? We like to taste the spade fish. We ate a little last night, I believe. Was that spade fish? I it believe was, so. It was delicious. How, how, how did you fry that stuff up? We put a little bit of seafood breader on it house all tree seafood breader and my fry daddy that i have had since college i think college is when college. i got that one but it is my um Pink favorite thing season. to put my french fries in which is my first love so <laughs> french fries was your first true love i thought i would well food that's my first food love oh, okay look at that shorebird i don't know if they got a glimpse of it but he was flying down over there over that grass that big egret and the tide is coming in here guys so we're definitely not worried about getting stuck in the marsh back behind our house today so i guess we can just take it easy right stuff yeah we're no Ain't rush today to be in a rush. You know, I tell you guys pretty often here, um, you know, there's AM and PM and this and that and time, but we live on tide time here. Low tide, high tide, and you gotta figure out where you are in between to know where you can go and how to get out of the different boat landings. Since we live in the marsh area, um, we do lose water at our dock, so we have to really know when the tides are. That's right. We basically have uh, water at our dock right here for about eight hours and four hours without it which dries up completely the mud and i think we have the best of both worlds we can see the light in the marsh when the tide is completely out and we get to see the light in the water as the tide comes in so we're thankful as can be amen to that
right right around the the dot right here is our first one in that deep hole okay. I'm not confused enough to uh, speed past my neighbor's dock though, right? Create a weight that I'm responsible for. I ain't that confused. You, Steph? Out of the mall. I'm not the one driving that. What's that rattle? I can't stand to hear that rattling in the boat like that. <laughs> These tools that we need, the tools of the trade for crabbing. You already talked to him yeah, about I've them? already mentioned that stuff. Right. Hey, I'm I'm up to up to snuff par on that on with me. Him. Here we go, crab pot number one coming up with you guys. <laughs> thankful, thankful, thankful to be out here. Look at here, come off our crab, crab pot. First crab, we're gonna let him go back. Though, so little fiddler. we got to count him. That's <laughs> number one. Number one, already in the boat. I think we have way, way, way too much rope on this crab pot. And I, I don't know who ever come up with we need 50 foot of that crab pot line in a 10 foot creek. I, I think know. we had that on there Touch whenever on. we had put the pots out in the yeah. deep water during the cold Help months. Me. It's stuck, I was stuck on the side, I got it. Now. Yeah, get some of that mud off. Oh man. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at here. Oh. Look at here. Look at here, guys. Wow, <laughs> loaded pot. Loaded. Oh my goodness. Loaded with keepers, too. I think they like that spade fish. Oh carcass. yeah. They love it. Jesus. Any of you guys that's going to be going out crabbing, I would advise you to go offshore, catch some spade fish, come home, clean them just so you can put the carcasses in your trap. It works, <laughs> right? It may take a little while to do it, guys, but time and effort is what makes everything work. Time and effort. Jeez, we are loaded down. Woohoo! Loaded down, blue crab. What? Talking about eating good in the neighborhood. I don't think you're gonna eat much better than this hemp. And guess what? Since I'm through with crabbing, I got I got work to do. I got to get to my real job. I'm gonna be dumping all our bait right out in the Marsh Creeks while we're out here. Still have plenty of this old nasty stuff here too. Yeah, if we thought we had time to come out here and check them again tomorrow, we would, but we don't have time. Well, we know we're not gonna have time, so we're gonna dump the traps out and put them up. Look at here with some cramps. Wow. My Lord have mercy. We are loaded down. It's time to do some crabbing here in South Carolina. Yeah, guys. buddy. It's time to come crabbing. Look at how pretty I they thought, are. I thought my good friend, Russ, was telling me a fish tail a little bit of a fish tail when he was telling us about how they had got the 30 crabs keeper crabs but guess what russ i owe you one buddy you was right they here oh my lord what some big crabs I can look at most of these guys and tell that they keepers, but I'm gonna give you guys an example of what I'm looking for straight off the get go with my gauge. From this point, just like you see me show you with the sticker on my dock, I'm going from here to here. If they're touching either both sides of this, it's a keeper. That's a keeper. He's a big boy. That's a big boy. Okay. Look at that monster right there. Woohoo! Right there. Gorgeous. That's right. Beautiful. That's three. Oh, goodness. 
Oh, he's missing, guys. He's missing about a sixteenth of an inch. You know, he's definitely not worth this guy right here getting a ticket for. I can tell you that. I'm gonna let him go. Big boy. Is that a keeper? Looks like it. Oh man, are the keepers starting to come in here in South Carolina or what? I think people can come down here now and really do some good crabbing. Oh, you've been waiting on these crabbing videos and we're bringing them to you and we're showing you. The crabs are here. Look at here. Little fella. Little fella, he ain't even gonna come in our boat. He ain't staying with us. That's a keeper. Here we go, another keeper. I told him he really knows. And this is just the first pot. Oh, he uh, he's touching, he but me. guess what? I'm just looking at his claw size and he's barely a keeper. I see that we have got way more crabs than Steph and I are gonna be able to eat. So guess what, little fella? I'm gonna put you back. I want you to go back and I want you to make some bacon. And grow up. Come back to me next week. Keeper. 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 Baby. I think all those are keepers except for maybe that keeper, one right keeper, there. Keeper. 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 I got a keeper and now I got plenty of crabs as keepers too. Show them my keeper stuff. That's my keeper. <laughs> That's right. She my keeper. We don't keep our female uh, crabs, guys. Not typically. Not typically. Every once in a while, if we're not catching, you know, a lot of uh, big male crabs, we will keep a female just for kicks and giggles. Not really, but just for food. You know, food. <laughs> our whole goal to come out here and catch these crabs is we eat them. We love we to eat love them. them. They are That's absolutely delicious. I here we go. What, what's this guy looking like? Ah, keeper. Another keeper. All right, so who had the count on that? Y'all let us know what the count was. We didn't count them yet, so y'all tell us. Pot number one, how many keepers were there? How many keepers? And guess what? Our next pot is the one that I set with you yesterday. It wasn't but about, what? 40, 50 yards right up the river. I'm wondering if we're going to have the same amount of luck right there in such a short distance. I hope so. I got all my fingers crossed. I hear this chair is squeaking. Need I mean, it's screaming. Need that chair's chair screaming. Stuff. I just ate some of those french fries I was talking about earlier. Does that mean I need to lay up off of some of them french fries? I eat more crabbies? I think you're perfect just the way you are, baby. Might as well, because I'm probably not going to lay off of them. Alright, this ain't good. Oh, there it is. I was about to say that the tide could have drugged our crab pot, because it's got a short rope on it, and anytime you are using a rope that's short in this area, if the tide gets so high, it can become kind of buoyant with the buoy on it, and move your pot. So if you ever come out here and you know you don't see your crab pot immediately, don't blame it on somebody else. Nature does things too, guys. And we make mistakes just by not knowing, you know, maybe that we didn't have enough rope on our crab pots to begin with. It, it happens. You make mistakes, I make mistakes, we all make mistakes. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. Got a bite, got a bite. Oh God. Holding, holding. It's a cobia. <laughs> I doubt it. It's but... a cobia. He's in the trap. I hope it's a pot full no, of crabs. I think it's a big spade fish. What? Nope. No spade fish in that one. No spade fish. Did something take my spade fish out? No, or is this I think the this one is that... not the pot that had the spade fish. So, did the spade fish, is that what made me catch so many crabs in that first pot? We're going to know when we get around to those other two. We maybe have, we maybe found what we need to be crabbing with. You might we, have kept we that may carcass. have to start running offshore at least once a week to catch spade fish stuff. To be able to crab? Yeah. What you think? Got a fish to be able to crab? I don't know. Maybe. It's a 
good um, excuse to go fishing though, right? <laughs> yeah. I see one little female in there, or maybe two. This is definitely a good excuse to go fishing. I've come up with a way to go offshore a little more, you guys. Are you proud of me? And this was just some of the bait that we had out of the trawl net. I know all of you guys, you're always looking for an excuse to go fishing, right? Yeah, buddy. Don't Especially think, when the fish don't are biting. Think that this old boy right here don't look for those types of excuses. I'm always looking for an excuse to go fishing. I'm trying to get out of work every day. Come on, crab. Let go of it. What the world? Why is my crabs always like holding on all the time? They're crabby. Yeah, it's like these crabs here in South Carolina, they got a problem, a mental problem. They, oh, true. They do. Well, I wouldn't want to come out of a, be eaten either. I guess I would want to come out of the trap, but I do, would not want to be eaten if I knew I had to come out of the trap to go be eaten. But we're going to let some of you guys go probably because I see one little girl in there for sure. And I see one that's not big enough. The rest look like they may be okay. Yeah, the rest look like they may be okay. As far as keeper size. Well, I'm about to show you what's keepers and what ain't. There ain't many that ain't keepers there. I promise you that. From what I see, we may darn not have a cooler big enough for this trip. We ain't got a cooler big enough, and we ain't got a boat big enough. So any of you guys that want to help us out, we're looking for a big crab boat. You know, <laughs> we'll take one with a 200 on it. I mean, Yamaha is good. Suzuki, I love them too. A little bit more room on the front than what you got here. That'd be nice also. Hey, if you can send us some tongs, you can send us some crab gauges that you like. Hey, we'll take whatever you want to send right now. Yeah. Within reason. Some of you guys, you a little bit. Cuckoo. I think everybody's got a little bit of that cuckoo in them. I know Some I just don't show it as much. Send me, but hey, I know uh, what's gonna happen and what ain't gonna happen too. And you guys better wake up and understand it too, right? Sometimes it just ain't gonna happen. Look at that boy right there. He got some big old points. Huge, look at my cooler of crab. That's my cooler of crab. Stephanie got to catch hers when we get up in. She gonna pull them traps. Hey, just a, look at this crab right here, guys. Broken off, um, injured. It's pointless. And pointless, but is he gonna make it still? Yep. yep yes, he's, he's still keeper. gonna make it. Now, so he's I, not completely pointless. He's going to get to be supper. That's right. But if I would have caught this crab and say he was broke right there, injured, and, you know, not a keeper, I would have thrown him on back, even if I knew his point should have been on out here. Because this old boy right here ain't wanting to get no ticket for no crab. Can you write that lens a little bit, Steph? Looks like it's a little dirty. But he was a keeper, even with his point broken, he still measured Look at big that. enough. That's a big boy. That's a six and a half inch. And how about this one right here? Good Lord, the keeper. That's a little female. Is that a little female? Yep. You can see by her red claws where she's got her nails painted, her V on her apron. She is a virgin female. And has she not bred is yet. Going to be set free, right, Steph? That's right. Let's Go out there and make me and the babies, little girl. Come on, swim off, little girl. Show them how pretty you are. Go back and make some babies, little male. That one's a little small. Go down there and breathe with her. There you go. Another keeper and here, guys. Keeper, yep. It's only one too small and one female in that pot, which she was too small too. That ain't bad, guys. Look at there, what a mess of crabs already. So pot number two, what? Who was keeping count for that pot number two? Let us know. I know you guys can't keep up with it. Just <laughs> so ain't no need to even ask that. Well, I figured they might could help us out because I don't know the count. Well, y'all could always go back a little bit 
it. Rewind. Yeah. Stop Leave it. Leave comment and let us know. That's right. Become a hero. The crabbing boats. Oh, that it. it was too deep. You were going too fast. Buried by all this debris. These reeds has got our buoy almost buried. Can you reach it? It's okay, we ain't gonna turn over, baby. I'm kind of keeping my eye out. If I see the lip of the boat start to go down, I'll move back to the other side real fast. Me, you, and the pots on this side All of the right. little skiff. We don't want it to get Here we go, guys. Here's another crab pot baited with the spade fish carcass. Is that our good luck or was it just about the location? What? What? Did I just see a full pot? Jesus! <sighs> Guys, I think it's the spade fish. It's a shame that we ain't got more of those carcasses. Look at this pot loaded down. And our best pot, or our best area that we usually do the best in, is still down here around the curve i'm so eager to see that one but before that let's get through these right here don't get in a rush don't hit the you know fast forward or nothing stay with us let's get through this together these look a lot smaller up in here though let me get it steph right, well, i don't want you getting too dirty you getting too dirty i'll get them you don't worry about that. Dirty. I can, I can stinky, handle these crabs. Stinky and yeah, squeaky. I know how to shake them down. Watch this. Look at that oh. one holding on to that spade too. Man, I watch these guys and ladies down here in Florida and they pull up these crab traps and they like, they like, the crabs just fall out of them. I'm like, what kind of crabs do y'all have down there in Florida? I'm not, they're not like that here. They'll hold on to anything that they get a chance to grab a hold to, right? That's right. And then we're sitting here struggling. Makes us look like we're amateur crabbers. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is the way our life goes in now, though, right? Look at them. They're starting to let go. And go in there. Go in there. Get on down. Get on down. Get this one right here. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. The one in there that's yeah, still up in the to top. Yeah, I got that one too, still. Huh. I don't know if y'all know how to shake them down faster than me, but maybe you can, you know, share a little video on, the, you know, your little profile picture and show me how you shake them down. Show me shake, how. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your crabbies. There they have tore this spade fish carcass up. What you talking about? Shake your crab shaker? Yeah, shake your crab shaker. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's always good to have fun, guys. If the person you with, you ain't having fun with them, that ain't my problem. <laughs> that ain't my problem. You deal with that. Because <laughs> I got one that I got to deal with when we ain't having good times too, and I know how you feel, right, Steph? That's right. How do, how do you feel all the time? I make you happy, don't I? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Huh? He ain't making me happy at that moment. He keeps, yep, 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 yep. Trying to do it a little bit well, good different. Job. Look, they have all but devoured and that. what? I was going to ask you about that thing on top of his head. I seen that on the other spade fish like, too. Like I, know, like I know the scientific te uh, terms of the spade fish head. I don't know. Well, I didn't know. Well, I, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what all you know. Yes, you do. You've been with me long enough to know. How long have you been with me? 22 years. There ain't nothing else I can Plus. tell you that I ain't already told you. Nothing. That's a little, little girl. Oh no, that's a little boy actually, even though he's got a little bit of orange on his claws. He may be a little confused. Oh yeah. All of them are keepers, ain't they? Check that one right there. Is he a keeper? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that one's way big. Way big. Way big. Here, get this so you can no, I want to do it like this. You like the gravel? Yeah, I like to get a lot them of on my little hand. ones in there. So yeah, they, and them little ready. ones they are fast. Every now and then to get a good pinching by a blue crab. I'm kind of looking through here. That's a keeper. Look, guys, I'm just gonna be real about this. We got so many crabs right now. This is one I want to keep. This is a big male blue crab that hadn't molded in a long time. You can see how dirty he is. And I know he's gonna be full of meat because he hadn't molded. So his meat is packed in that shell. Well, you need to keep some because I know you have an aunt that's been asking you for some crabs. Look, and I like to eat crabs. So do they know where the grocery store is. <laughs> they do. They don't have blue crabs there. They probably do. I don't think they do. So you know what? I'm some gonna, of them they do. I'm gonna keep but... sorting through them there because I'm always looking out for my family. I can tell you that now. My aunt wants some blue crab. I don't care if some. Especially since you have an abundance today. I forgot that she wanted it. Thank you for reminding me, Steph. You always keep me straight. That guy can stay in there. That, that, one, that one's we not that yeah. little one. He's got to come out. Tell him to let go that you're going to release okay. him. We're going to release him. All right, little buddy. Swim. Can you swim? Beautiful, beautiful. No, the keeper. Oh, my aunt's gonna love that keeper. Oh, that's a girl on the bottom. Yeah, I know it. She won't let go. There you go. He that's was holding on to her. Why are you blaming him no, for it? No, she was trying to hold his hand. I'm trust me. I could tell. Her claw. Her claw was holding on to his pincher. That's your story and I'm sticking to it, right? I think all of these right here are too small. This, I think uh, this one's big. What? I think this one's a keeper. All right, well, let's see. Goodness gracious, look how tiny his claws is. Do you think your aunt's gonna care? He's a keeper. Dang it. He is a keeper. This Bring one's a keeper. Bring him to you, auntie. No. Oh my goodness, that's such a hair off. Yeah, but you're right, he's not well, a guess keeper. What? I don't care. I don't care if you're a hair off. I'd still not go put you in my cooler. All right, check this one. That one's close. Well, it can be close, but it ain't perfect. I know, perfect. that's what I, I need you to check. Close enough is not perfect. Oh, the same close distance. Close is not perfect. Just I'm a hair you, off. The rest of these are too small, too. You want to check that one? Yeah, it's going right. to be a hair off, too. You sure? I think so. That's more than a hair off. Yeah, that one's a few hairs That's off. Like That's like an eighth of an eight. inch off. All right, so the rest of them. And then we got four more right here. You want me to go through no, all them too? This one's a little girl. I see well, her apron under there. You definitely ain't gonna keep her right. No, I'm gonna put her on there. So I can get a good look at her. How about that one? You think that, wait a minute now. He is close, but he's probably No, not you need her. to check it, don't you, Steph? I will. But it's not. Wait a minute now. No, no, it's not. It's fairly clear and Jesus. I think we're still gonna load this okay. cooler up. 
Y'all can let go of hands, boys and girls. Give them a little tap to let them know they're free. You're free. Go swim. Go on. Swim Go away. make some baby. Look how that water is pouring out of his mouth. And hers. And hers. They have done begun to filter that water. Uh-oh. We're free. On to number four. This is the one that I think is going to be loaded down. I think this crab pot is going to be loaded down. What do you think? Let's fill that cooler on up. You think we're going to have them? Well, I think we got them already, but I think we're going to have some more in this one. What's wrong with this boat? Got over Operator here, error. drifting over here in the edge of this creek. We get on out of here. There we go. That's right. We try to take it easy. We don't want to rip up the grass too much. We don't want to rip it up at all. We just slowly backing around. How many will you think around. we got, stuff? Give them a guess. I think um we got pretty close to 25 or more. 25 already? I think. Guys, do y'all think we have 25 already? I think, or more maybe, so we'll see. Keeping I see some stuff on your lens, so. Keeping these cameras and stuff clean out here in this environment, guys. It is not as easy as you may think. And guess what? We're getting tired of the cuts and the glam. We're just gonna show you who we am. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, that's who we am. It's good to have fun, guys. I just tried to come up with something to say that know it would rhyme a little bit it, it really didn't make much sense i understand that but my whole meaning behind it is i'm not going to be spending like hours and hours trying to edit these videos and put music in it and make the crab jump backwards and stuff like that <laughs> i'm tired of that kind of stuff look at that if you want to watch our videos this is just going to have to be real 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 the ones of us the ones of you guys who come along with us often enough know that we are real. We are not scripted, like I've said before. This is not Hollywood. We are not Hollywood. This, this is who we am. This ain't Hollywood. We are who we are and that's who we am. <laughs> <laughs> that's who we am. I don't think they have this much fun in Hollywood sometimes. I don't either. Too much um, good times out here to compare with this. You want me to pull it? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness! Either this thing is stuck in the mud, or we have a ton of crab. I I can't tell yet. The boat was drifting so far up past it that it started jerking the weight down in the mud. Exactly why I when handed it, it to you. Oh. <coughs> come on, come on, Krabbies. Oh, this thing's heavy. This thing is heavy. And one reason it's so heavy, guys, this one's got a one inch piece of rebar on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at here. Look at here. Yeah, buddy. Crabbing ain't easy, but it's so strong. And the spade fish is doing the job. They loving that spade fish, guys. Yeah, they are. And we could we could easily drop these pods back down if we had more time. We'll and we could bring on you guys on another crabbing video. But guess what? Yeah, we don't have the time, unfortunately. Look at this stuff. Hey, guys. Oh. Come on, crab. Shake, shake, shake. Come on, man. Let's go. Shake your crabbies. Shake them on out. <laughs> Work them, baby. Shake them on out. Dang it. That one there. Since you said you don't want to play music in, I guess I'll put some of your music in. <laughs> you need to help me get tap, these tap, crabs tap. out of hand. playing around stuff. That's what I was trying to do right here, and then you put the pot down. 
jive talking and singing you doing I don't think you're gonna get no likes on that I ain't worried about it you ain't no <laughs> I just am who I am and you are who you are I am you am or you are I am okay and look at that big boy right we there. are that big boy I used to pull these crab pots up and I would sling the pots around and all this and that and other. But guys, I'm 47 years old now. My back is wearing out. Yeah. How many of you guys come out Stinky. here? Stinky. Look at there. Now I gotta try to get this thing out. And guys, you can see that these spade fish, they were so big that there was no way I could get them down in the bait departments so I had to like stick them in through this top down through this funnel to get them down in there Jeez. and then you got to wiggle them back out I got I'm to try trying to get not let you splash me and them I mean I was clean before I come back out here Stephanie had already sprayed my shirts down with what what do you use oxyclean oxyclean got wash. most of the spots off any of you guys that watch our videos know there ain't no help for most of my clothes. Yeah, we should be being sponsored by like Dome Power Wash and hint, OxyClean. Hint, hint, hint. Any sponsors out there? We're looking for sponsors. Always. Oh, God. Man, Jesus Christ. What's, what's holding him in there? Spins. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I know he's. He's got a big old brain, though. Oh, you yeah. got to help me some kind of way here, stuff. There's something that is holding him in there. Turn him upside down and shake him. Grab no, him to the other side and grab no, him by the No, then I'll help to start all back over. I ain't going to start all back over. I think you're getting over. it. Jesus. Oh. What in the world? What's holding here, him I'll now? I'll hold the pot. You pull him. I don't think... I've been pulling for the last 15 seconds or so. 20, 30, 45. Mm, 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 man, mm. I smell on something that smells good. I it? wish I could send y'all through this through some smell of vision right now. It makes me want to go home and eat fish sandwiches. <laughs> I want to go eat some fish sandwiches. Mm. Now he's caught up there. Still plenty of bait there. Look at that rib bones. They cleaned his bones. Rib bones. Mm, mm. Got plenty of keepers though. Keeper. Not a keeper. Mm, keeper. I think that might be a girl anyway. Yep. Coming over, coming over your head with the pot stuff. Alrighty, you go on around. Woo! That one is too heavy. That's like my little grandson over here about that fish that he was catching out of the Savannah River. She's too, too heavy for a kid. Alright, little girl. So she gets to go back. Another little girl here. So she gets to go back. Let her go. Oh, I let her go in the boat. Here she goes. If you going to turn them all loose, <laughs> You gonna let them all go all over the boat? I'll just get them out of my. That soul. one was big enough. Why you let no, him go? He wasn't. Hey, this one's not. That one is. So one keeper out of this pot so far. Not a keeper. Not a no. keeper. No. That one is. That's a keeper, that. Yep, keeper. That's definitely. Look at this thing at yeah, no, number two it. out of this pot. I don't believe that one's gonna make it either. No. Huh? You check him again. No, he's barely missing on that side. He's only a hair off. Just a hair. Put him back. That one's a keeper. Oh, keeper. Yeah, yeah. Number three out of this pot. This one's a keeper. Well, 
Not a keeper. And guess what, guys? In some of the videos that I've been uploading, I was thinking that, you know, crabs were a lot cheaper than what they are. I'm here now where, like, keeper. in some places, blue crabs for big males like this would be considered number one. These things can be 50 to 70 dollars a bushel. I meant not a bushel, a dozen in some areas now. I, I'm so far behind on the tower. That was four keepers out of that pot. This is number five. That one five. here is a keeper for sure. You sure? Yep. You don't want to check it? Well, I already checked him, but he's a keeper. Look how his point was broken that one time too, right? Yep. You can see so that he's straight six. right there. Step. See how that one's straight? And that was just a little bit crooked little and re normally. Yeah. Yep. That All one's a keeper. Do you think that's a keeper too? Yes, it is. Uh, come yes, on. it is. You Even trying? though his, his tilt's broke and he's still a keeper. It is. Jesus. This man. one is a keeper. He's touching. Uh -uh, yes, nah. he is. <laughs> no, that little guy can't That was be. seven, I believe, out of that. That is a keeper. Yeah. It is a keeper. Look at this. Look at this thing. This one's a keeper. That's a keeper over there. Look that at was him and tell. Eight, nine. Look at him. Or either eight. Look at that. Oliver's yap so much, I can't keep up with the number either. <laughs> Not a keeper. Some of these guys out here, they've been keeping up. Not a keeper, not a keeper. Little female. That's a little small female there, right? Yep. Yep. Not a keeper. Well, i tell you what. So I know some of y'all are keeping up and even know how many non-keepers that we had. On, it's so beautiful out here. Look. Look at this storm coming. We need to get on through this video right now. We're going to go back through these things and we're going to count them all with you right now. You want me to do it? Let's do it. We'll do it together. I got one. You got to count with me now, Steph, not just what you count. Two. Three, four. Five. Six, seven. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, come on, come on, 17, 18, 19, 20, come on, 1 from 2, 4, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 42. I told you, you were way off. You said 25 and we had caught five more. That would only been 30. We caught almost 11 more, or we caught 11 more while ago. What? So 42. I was still off. I was still um, under. Guys, here they are. That's a big haul. Ooh, trying to escape. That's a big haul of blue crabs right there. 42 keepers, staff. 42 keepers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you look at there. Crabbing ain't easy, guys. We just appreciate you guys so much for coming along Watch with those. us on these videos. We get a little crazy and silly at times. We just love to have fun and try to entertain you guys. Thank you so much for coming along on another video with us.